What's going on, everybody? I'm back with a review on a program. Ray Donovan, season six. I should have did episode one, but I was tripping. I forgot. So, if you didn't see episode one, he's in New York, tried to kill himself, end up with a cop that saved his life, and he was teetering on going back into the life and not being back in life and being pulled back in by Susan Sarandon's character. I always forget her name, but I feel like looking it up. So, now we on... <clears throat> Episode two, part two of Staten Island, because the first one was called Staten Island, part one. So the episode two was called Staten Island, part two. So I ain't going to be long. Listen, I, I just noticed I had my long john on inside out. But anyway, so I would just like you to let, just like you to know that it came on later than usual. Ray Downer is usually a summer show, but for some reason they decided to bring it back in the fall and October, which is weird. We're doing the same thing with Blacklist. Blacklist is a fall show, but they bring it back in the winter in January. I don't know. But anyway, so Ray Donovan is still teetering on being completely back into the life and trying to get away from things. But in this episode, his daughter gets proposed to Mickey breaks out of the hospital because, you know, last episode he got sick. If you didn't see it, go see that nasty shit Mickey did. And, uh... You know, Bunchy goes to see him and he's trying to recruit all his brothers to come meet him there to see his father just in case if he dies. And Bunchy's the only one that shows up while he's there. Um, Daryl and Connor try to get there in time, but they don't. Anyway, so I just really want to talk about Ray's character. <clears throat> I don't want to give too much away. So Ray is really teetering on that bridge is gone. And it's, it's hard for him and he doesn't know how to live his life without her. And he's, and he's learning every day too, but it goes to show you how important she was, how stable she kept him, how much she influences day to day. Yeah. He cheated. Yeah. He's a murderer. Yeah. He's an, ex, you know, he extort things, you know what I'm saying? He just, he's every bad thing you can think of, but she was it. She was the reason that he was able to get up and go every day, even when they had their fights. And now that she's not there at all, and he takes it to heart that it was his fault, you know, maybe his daughter Charlotte was, you know, helped her die and whatnot, so, and his brother. But he's in New York. His brother has a boxing gym in New York because they don't, either one of them wants to be in L.A. anymore, and they connect on different things. And the cop that Mickey's, I mean, excuse me, Ray's living with, he's dirty. So it kind of just like, these things keep happening around you that's going to force you back into the game. And that's kind of what this episode is. You know, he's still dealing with the angry Samoan and things like that. So there's a lot of intertwining things in there. That's just, uh, the plays into the, not so much even a mystique of Ray Donovan anymore, but ah, what word if I'm looking for? It plays into his character. Just like, man, this is, the show is very well written and it's always slow, but seeing for some reason, these first two episodes haven't been slow. Yeah, they're still doing explaining things or giving backstory to things, but it's been moving really fast. So I've enjoyed these first two episodes. So if you've seen them, let me know what you think. Also, you know, I kind of feel like we kind of seen this before when Ray didn't want to help out and he ends up helping out and getting into the life so i don't know maybe i'm tripping so i enjoyed the second episode but furthermore here's my um guess into the how the season's gonna go ray's gonna fully engulf himself back into the life while being in new york something that's gonna happen with him and mickey gonna have to come head to head and he's gonna have to finally kill mickey or go back to Boston. That's how I see the season going. And he's going to finally stop working for Susan Sarandon. I can never remember her name. Gosh, dog it. Dang, I wish I had my phone next to me. I would look it up. But anyway, so that's episode two without me giving away so much. Um, leave your likes and your comments. Let me know. Uh, subscribe. You know, the kid needs some subscribers. But let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to try to have another video too for you this week. It's just other stuff. And uh, I ain't forgot about my story time thing. I think I'm on episode five or something like that. Check out the podcast and the link. We got two new episodes up. And uh, I might blog about this episode too. I don't know. Maybe not. But uh, just holla at your boy. I'm out here. I'm trying to stay active and uh, eat more chicken.